You go, girl. A former Virginia Tech soccer player is suing her former coach. Kirsten Henning claims that Chugger Adair engaged in a campaign of abuse and retaliation, leading her to leave the team after she refused to join her teammates in kneeling before games this season. The federal lawsuit says that while her teammates knelt during pregame ceremonies, Henning remained standing, causing retribution from the coach. This video is brought to you by Prison Fellowship Angel Tree. Prison Fellowship Angel Tree. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to let you guys know we, we are actually doing tremendous. Our original goal was 1300 Now they moved it to 4000 4, because we've been doing so well. So I, I know for a fact that we can get to this goal. If you haven't given to Angel Tree, uh, let me tell you why it's important to give. These young people do not have their parents for Christmas. They will not experience a proper Christmas unless we help them. Their parents are incarcerated. Many of them can't afford to give them gifts, can't afford to send them messages, and we are going to make that connection. Now, these people who are inmates work with Prison Fellowship. They register for this, and we are giving them the opportunity to present these gifts, messages, and a Bible to their children. So these are men and women who are rehabilitating, and I'm all for re reconciliation and forgiveness. These are men and women who are rehabilitating, and we can get access for their children to have an incredible holiday, something that's going to change their lives forever. So you click in the link in the description section, and you can cast a vote. $125 will get you five kids. My family donated 1,000. That's 40 kids, uh, so on and so forth, ladies and gentlemen. I know we can get to this goal. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification anytime I go live make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like like this video, share this video. Let's get into this. <laughs> right in the middle of talking, I got a burp. All right, so let's talk about this young lady, uh, Kirsten Henning. I'm so excited for her, and I, I wonder, is there any way that I can support her, that we can support her if it comes out, because I think it's honorable as to what she has done. Now, if you remember back in 2020, when – Black Lives Matter was out there kneeling and protesting. And let me say this. It, it really never, it, it was never about black lives. I, I just want to, can we clear this up before we finish? It was never about black lives. It was about a quarterback who was washed up, sitting on the bench. He started dating a, a woman who was blackity black, black, wokeity woke, woke. And because the white kid was playing in front of him, he felt some type of way. Colin Kaepernick used to have a straight fade raised by white people. All of a sudden, he got a grow afro and he's pro-black. And then what he did, if, if you ask me my opinion, he was protesting the fact that he wasn't starting quarterback. And then once he get pressed on it, he started talking about injustice of black and brown bodies in America. We can name one. He can't name one that's legitimately unjustified. He can't name it. Michael Brown, you, the hands up, don't, that never happened. So the whole foundation of kneeling during the national anthem had nothing to really do with black lives. And you can, somebody out there, anybody explain to me what has changed since people have been kneeling for the national anthem. Except Black Lives Matter have enriched themselves. The, the, the co-founder stepped down. They buying mansions all over the country, blowing your money. Michael Brown family didn't get no money. Eric Garner family didn't get no money. George Floyd's family didn't get no money. What are they doing with the money? So, Kirsten was right. She played for the University of Virginia. She was a soccer player. And, and we could go down to her average, her average time that she played. I think it was on here. Is it down here or up a little bit? So, she had expressed that her coach made her ride the bench and, and lectured her putting his finger in her face, calling her that she's being and complaining, calling her selfish, because she said, I agree that black lives matter, but I don't support the organization that wants to defund the police. She refused to kneel. She wasn't the only one, but because she wasn't a scholarship player, according to her, that they came out against her. Let me tell you how you know he was biased. She went from playing 76, she, 76 minutes playing in each game as a freshman. Then nearly 88 minutes a game, each game as a sophomore. And then following her protest, she started averaging 29 uh, uh, minutes a game and then five minutes a game. 
Now, I'm not saying the coach is wrong. I don't know. Maybe she wasn't performing. But it's quite obvious or odd that all of a sudden home skillet looked like a beta. Don't he look like a beta? He looked like somebody that's just suffering from white guilt. He just dreads and white guilt is a, listen, man, these people like this are the reason our country is messed up. Because you need to be able to compartmentalize as a coach and say, we don't need to kneel during the national anthem. Unless every single person is agreeing to kneel, we should not kneel. If one of our players do not want to kneel, we are not kneel as a team. How, 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 that's a coach. But when the coach say, everybody but you want to kneel, you being selfish. It's like, no, we, we roll as a team. We don't roll as to isolate an individual. If we go, we all go. If we all can't go, none of us going. But the betas like this, that's, that's, that's got white guilt dripping out his eardrums, is the reason why our country is the way it is. And this is just my opinion based on the information I've read. I could be wrong. This guy could be a good guy. But it don't seem like he is. The court has ruled that she can pursue, and there was enough evidence that she could pursue the lawsuit and suing him for violating her First Amendment speech. It's, it's, it's funny because it's normally people like this that force an issue that they do not understand. If I was a coach, now I'm not going to say because I'm not white, so I don't know what it feel like to be discriminated against. But uh, if I was a coach, I would tell my players, like Jerry Jones did, you ain't kneeling for the national anthem on this team. If you want to show solidarity, we can do it in other ways. Ain't nobody need you to kneel. You can go out in the community right here in Virginia and you can go serve at the schools. That's service. Go to the inner city and do something. Invite some of these kids or do meals on wheels, whatever you want to do. You can go out and be the hands and feet. You don't have to virtue signal because your virtue signal is actually disrespecting the United States of America. And nobody can tell me it wasn't about the flag. Then why you do it during that period of time? Why wouldn't you just kneel, right? At, at, at the beginning of the game, everybody go out on the field and kneel for, for two, three seconds. But you kneel during a national anthem because America hating fool started a trend. You ask them, they hate America. They hate America. Anyway, I don't want to make this about him or me or anybody else. Shout out to this young lady. I hope she reach out to me. If you, anybody know her, have her reach out to me. I love the interview on my radio show. But I think it's brave that she's doing that because I don't care what you say. I, I think it was wrong for coaches to make their players take knees and do all that, pressure them, because now we find out Black Lives Matter, or I, we already knew, but now the rest of the world finds out that Black Lives Matter is a fraudulent organization. So are you going to apologize to all them kids which you thrusted or you forced them into doing something for an organization that ain't even helping America? They're burning down cities, stealing the money. Okay. I go on forever about this, but shout out to the young girl, uh, Kirsten Henning. Shout out to her. Hopefully she win this lawsuit and sue, and maybe that white guilt will uh, 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 fall away faster or sooner than later. All right, love you guys. I'll talk to you on the next video. I'm out.